ask you, uh, you know, this matter has reached the courts also. Uh, do you do you see this issue coming up in in the courts also of uh, of how to deal with this? I would call it a menace because you know, look at it from the point of view of someone who has been bitten by a dog. There were many many people in this in this colony who said that our kids feel depressed because we don't let them go down because there are various incidents of dogs biting. Uh, through the course of legal arguments, uh, how is this issue being addressed? Look, the only solution which is scientifically established, hmm. not just in India, but internationally, is animal birth control. Hmm. It is really the local authorities who have to implement. All that we are asking for is it should be implemented in accordance with the guidelines of the Animal Welfare Board. Animal birth control is the way out. It is the solution. There is really no conflict. There should not be any conflict between man and animal. Hmm. And, and, the... and do you feel that population itself is going to control this menace or this problem? That is, it's already established. Please look at the WHO report. Mm -hmm. In Israel, Denmark, for example, uh, the dog population was controlled only through animal birth control. In fact, there is evidence on record, scientific evidence, which clearly establishes that removing dogs or killing dogs is not the solution. Mm. Also, a little word about the feeding. You see, the problem is that, uh, you know, as uh, Mr. Mahapatra rightly said, there are some people who like dogs and some who don't like dogs. Now, as long as both people coexist, there should never be an issue. The feeders are actually uh, providing a very useful service because they ensure that the dogs are well fed. No 